Hi and welcome back to Wapler Unwrapped. This is lesson three of the basic series. If I can recap on the previous lessons, in lesson one we'll learn how to make a database connection, write a simple database query and display the results of that in a bootstrap table. In lesson two we added sortable headers to that table and added a search bar. Here in lesson three we're going to look at dynamic paging. In dynamic paging we're going to create a complete new page and a complete new server connection. So let's start with the server connection. This is still going to be part of the administration section of the website. So we're going to create this within the admin folder and we're going to add a new action file and we're going to call this unipaged. Steps in that very similar to before we're going to create a database action we're going to create a database connection and we're going to use that local connection that we created earlier. Let's save that. Now we're going to add a database paged query rather than a simple query. So we add that, we'll call that unipage. Save that action. No, we can't until we've actually written it. Um, let's go to the query options. Select the university table as before. We're going to be using the ID, the name, the city, and the postcode. And we'll sort again on the university name. At this stage, no conditions are required. Now we can save that action. You'll see now that because we've created a database page query, it's created some get variables here. And the important one for us in this one is offset, because we'll be using that at the app connect side of things to decide which records are going to be displayed so okay let's create a new file it's going to save it straight away and let's call that universities or university page dot php and don't forget we're still in the admin section of the website so let's make sure we save it in the admin folder. Blank page for starters, of course. We're going to add those all important App Connect and Bootstrap frameworks in. Again, I'm just going to be using the CDN version of Bootstrap. Let's give it an app ID, unipaged, and let's give the document a title university paged let's just save that now we can actually start putting something onto this page and as before we're going to go straight into adding a container within that container a row and a column and that's where we'll be putting our new paged bootstrap table now let's create that all important data connection. So we're going into the add component, we're going into data and server connect. Call that unipaged and we're going to connect that to the unipaged query that we wrote just a few seconds ago. Save that. Now we need to use that state management that we used for the sortable headers to store the, the current page offsets within the uh, table that we're viewing. So insert after, let's down to state management, query manager. I'm just going to warn you here so that I've actually come across what I think is a little bug within Wapler. If you name the ID on the query manager exactly the same as a server connect you seem to get some sort of clash and it actually breaks the page so in this case I'm going to not call it unipage but unipager and then that way we won't break the page I'm sure that the Wapla team will pick that up and put it right in future I've actually still got the variable offset created from an earlier run through. I'll do as I've done before. I'll just take it out and put it back in. Offset. 
Let's save that. Okay, now we're actually ready to put the table into that column. Click the plus sign in the middle because we're going to put it as a child. We're going to go into generators and we're going to go into a bootstrap for table generator. Let's populate it from our server connection. Down the data and these again are the fields obviously from the query. Let's give it a stripe. Let's give it a border. Okay, there we are. We've got our query set up and already you'll see that it's reduced the number we're only actually s serving up here the default amount of uh, 25 records but there's not a lot of point in having the first 25 records without being able to skip through at this stage i'm just going to make a, a little change in uh, the server connect side and what i'm going to do is i'm going to set that limit to 10 and that's only to bring everything nicely onto the page so we can see what we're doing I'll just give that a quick refresh there we are 10 records per page next thing we need to do is actually add that paging in so we're at the table we're going to add after the table from the generators a paging generator our data source obviously from the same place but we don't quite choose the same we don't go right down to data we just click here where we've got the offset limit etc underneath and now we need to invoke that state manager that we created earlier and give it the offset let's not forget to bind our query Once we've got this bound to our query, this will allow the page to be able to talk to the server connect side of things. And provided I haven't forgotten anything, we should now have a page record. Perhaps not. Let's have a quick look and see where we've gone wrong here. And there's the problem straight away. The parameter there is actually wrong. This should be our query offset. Strictly speaking, that's not required. Let's just save it again. And now we see that we've got a pageable query. And we get right at the end, obviously, we have less pages. Thanks very much for joining me for this lesson three. And lesson four, we're going to go to a, a new level what we're going to do is look at how to link from this bootstrap table to an edit page so that you can select a record within that edit that and then save it so you can uh, change the contents of the records so thanks for joining me here at Wapla Unwrapped and I hope to see you back soon